Hey everybody, this is Andy from Here in Spain, and tonight I'm showing you one of my favorite salads out here, which is called the Ensalada Mixta, but I'm adding, I'm making it kind of a fish heavy, uh, fish intense version of this salad. I am making this for one, and this is crazy, but like this is kind of my big, my big meal of the day. I made some shrimp earlier. I actually had some fillets of sea bass left over from last night. I did not make tacos because I was a little bit lazy. Um, so anyways, they form like a little bit of a pellicle in the fridge overnight. They're still so delicious. They have no odor. They're really beautiful. Um, and you can kind of see them down here. So just walking you really quickly through the ingredients. Normally in a classic ensalada mixta, you would have back here, you'd have your lettuce. Uh, this is just like a shredded baby uh, romaine. Baby heads of romaine are really popular out here. They come in three packs, they're cool. Um, you would also see some, uh, you know, sliced white onion, tomato. In this case, I have an egg that soft boiled, that looks nice. Uh, I've also got some piquillo peppers here that I chopped up. Right here we have some canned white asparagus. Both the piquillo peppers, the white asparagus, this tuna, this bonito tuna right here, also comes from can. What also comes from a can are these olives. Uh, they're stuffed with anchovies and they're delicious. They come in these cool little, you know, like one serving. Anyways, for me, this is like a perfect amount of anchovies. I don't have to open a whole can. I can like use a whole can and not feel bad about it. It's like a perfect amount for me. Um, so that would kind of be your classic, your classic ensalada mixed up. You know, we would add obviously like some nice olive oil. We'd add some sherry vinegar. We'd do some salt and pepper. Maybe you do like a little bit of paprika, maybe. Um, what I'm also adding to this, as you can see, is I have my two Lubina fillets. I'm gonna cook those up. Pulled out six shrimp. They look beautiful. I cleaned those earlier today. Mad and goat cheese, which like everyone, I, I get it. If you don't like it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, out here in Spain, when I was first out here with my wife, um, and we were still in culinary school, you know, we came across this like tiny spot, um, you know, in a neighboring town, and they were selling these uh, ensal ensaladas de queso cheese salads and it was just like so funny to me at the time so we ordered one and it was just like the most freaking amazing salad with like a bunch of other stuff in it but they also had like you know five types of cheese it was incredible so yeah goat cheese mix them with the fish i get it but like with everything else it's gonna it's gonna work right here we have we have a strange assortment um up here in the upper left there's like these fake surimi eels that you can buy out here and everyone eats them and they're very normal. Um, up here on the top right now, we got some sardines, but these are not like gonna be, um, you know, salt cured sardines. There is a lot of salt in the pickling mixture, but it's more like acidic than it is, um, than it is salty like anchovies. Same thing with these bocarones here, which are just, just kind of like vinegar cured anchovies. You can see they're beautiful and kind of white. Anyways, those are, you know, you can just, you can just eat them. You don't even need to, like we're so used to in the, in the States, we hear anchovy and we think like one of them used in a big batch of Caesar salad and that's not the case. Um, what else we have? I got a lemon left over from earlier when I made my mayo. Shit, I also have some of that mayo just spread out. That shrimp head mayo with cilantro and chives. I spread a little bit of that out on the bottom of this bowl. Because we're about to uh, we're about to cook up the shrimp and lubina. And after I cook the shrimp, I'm gonna toss the shrimp in this in this little mayo mixture before I mix it in with my salad. So I just turned my skillet on. I'm gonna show everyone for the first time my uh, my really my really janky uh, photo setup. I just bought this uh, this like cheap light today. Anyway, so like I set my camera up on these chopsticks. I like set under this pan. 
Alright, you know, I just get my stuff set up. I got this really sketchy light. You know, I was like, I didn't want to... I'm new to Spain and like, I don't have power tools. I don't have like a way to like fix this. So I just kind of like noticed that it hung there, but then I was like, I'm such an idiot. I need to like use a little string and just like tie this in in case like things, things don't go perfectly. And right here, I got my stove. Got my stove on high. I'm gonna toss some, some sunflower seed oil into that. You can see this pan. I don't know if you can see, but it's, it's, it's hot, it's hot. And shit, since I'm gonna be cooking with one hand without like a tripod or anything, I figure, yeah, fuck it. We're just gonna do it. We're just gonna do it all. We're gonna do it all at once. And I'm gonna cook it with, with one hand. Then we're gonna see how it works out. So I'm adding a little salt. Right now. One thing I'm a little bad at is, uh, you know, especially right now. I guess I can grab, grab a little towel and grab it. But sometimes I season, I season with my hands a little, a little wet. Which is not, not ideal, but it's okay. And while I'm at it, like shit, I'm gonna throw some salt. I'm gonna throw some salt over here. I'm gonna salt my egg a little bit. I already salted my tomatoes, but I'm gonna salt my onions. All right, so my oil, I can tell right now, it's, it's really hot. And it's ready for me to just dump it all in there. So let's do it. Oh no. Oh. You know, the fillets are so small, they're gonna almost like cook at the, cook at the same rate as the, uh, as the shrimp here. I'm gonna go ahead and just change out my plate real quick. Like... And you can see, you know, it's nothing crazy happening, but like, yeah, they're ready to get flipped, like, now. I do this. I don't know, shit. Move them around. Pop them, pop them up. Pop the other one up. Shake them. Flip the last one by hand. Flip it over. And yeah. We're good. You know, I kind of want... I want my shrimp to go for another five seconds, but... My fish? Right here is done. I'm just going to grab that. Hot. Be careful. And, you know, the only reason I say my shrimp isn't really done is if I look in the center, right there, they're gonna keep cooking. They're done though. I got a little leftover oil and shit in here. That's cool. I don't mind if my mango breaks right here. I'm just gonna slip that right in. We're gonna mix it up and see what happens. And I bet it's gonna be like pretty, I bet it's gonna be pretty good. So I'm going back on my chopsticks. What I got there is like a nice, oh, I got a little, I got a little smoke over here on the, on the grill surface. Nice. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I had a little oil drip on the super hot induction surface and some of that kind of fishy oil. And yeah, it uh, started a little, started a little fuego in here. Which is fine. These little shrimp, just toss them up. 
Yeah, this is like, looks like a really weird broken, broken mayo mix, which is what it is. You know, I just added in some, some oil into this emulsion without re-emulsifying it. But you can see I'm getting kind of a nice little, little coat on these shrimps. And all I'm, all I'm looking for is the flavor. I'm not, guys, I'm making, I'm making a giant fish salad at home for myself. So, these, these look pretty tasty to me. I'm not gonna use all that mayo that's in there. And we're ready to go. Make our, make our little salad. So here we go. I got my lettuce, romaine, baby romaine. What I'm gonna do first off, I'm gonna add a tiny bit of this really, really nice olive oil. Olive oil is sick if you like want to pay up for it. You can see this one's like super green. Oh, it's so good. I'm gonna hit that with a little olive oil. And I'm gonna give the greens a little bit of salt by themselves before I do any other shit. And I'm actually gonna give it a little pepper too. It's nice to season your season your greens right before you're making your Making your salad, it's gonna, it's gonna come out great. You could you could eat this right now, just this green mix, and it would taste it would taste pretty good. If you added some of this sherry vinegar in there, like you have a salad, you'd, you'd be great. All right, so I'm not really worried about the ordering here. Here got my olives. I'm gonna throw in some video. Just crush it up. I'm not trying to get fancy. These uh, white asparagus are really tender. You know. And I got my piquillas. I need is a little napkin to wipe up my messy plate. It's <clears throat> a little better. Cool. Next up. Uh, this is a ton of onions. I understand that. I, I love raw white onions and I can't... I can't explain why. Um, you know, I know I have a buddy that... A buddy Fox that recently... Um, this guy's an amazing cook. And he was working at Blackberry Farm in Tennessee for a long time. And he recently uh, had some time to... Take a, take a long vacation and you spend some time with us. With us uh, here in Spain, here in Gijon, and showed him around. But before that, he got to go to um, Israel and was talking about these hummuserias out there. But, like, no one's really making their hummus at home. Most people are, like, just getting it, like, in the morning when it's made, you know, for the most part. But a lot of these folks serving hummus, right? Like we eat hummus all the time. And a lot of these folks serving hummus, instead of doing like pita bread, they might they might serve you serve you serve you pita with it. But um, a lot of these folks would just do freaking raw raw onion petals to scoop the hummus. Which, if that sounds weird to you. I understand, but like to me, that just sounds that sounds incredible. So that's kind of why I love. I don't know. I've, I've never, never been weird about rotten. You can see these little bugger onions. They're so beautiful. They're so good. You can snack on them. They're very. Um, I don't know. They're just great. Man. I don't really know what I'm what I'm doing here. You know, I'm just I maybe make a little a little space where my head can go sit. I had a little uh, lemon from earlier, and sure, a little city. Also, you know, a little more. On my shrimp, nice. A little more on these fish fillets. 
just to give it a little pop of acidity in every every little bite. I'm done. Great. I'm then gonna hit this with a little bit more. I got some dried oregano out here, and you know what? I I, I like dried oregano, and I'm just I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a really tiny little bit. Pimenton, you know, where would you be without without pimenton here in Spain? Uh, this is this is sweet pimenton, not not spicy pimenton, which is kind of smokier. Let's do a little more pepper. Tiny little, tiny little extra, little sprinkle of salt. I'm gonna add these shrimp in here. Just like that. Yeah, does it look really contrived? Yeah. Do I, do I mind? No. I don't know. You know, I don't even know if I don't even know if that's how I do it, but shit. You know. God. I didn't really you can see this flesh is this flesh is nice right here. I didn't really think too much about this, but what I guess I'm gonna do is just Everybody, I mean, that is, that is it. That is your like really souped up. I can feel this right now. And like this freaking thing weighs like, I don't know, this is probably a, a kilo. It's like this is probably, this is probably a two pound salad. Like if I had to extend my arms and hold this out. Anyways, it looks incredible. What do I want on this? What I want on it is like maybe some green, you know, I ran out of cilantro earlier today, which is a bummer. That'll be nice on here. You know, some parsley. Um, but anyways, I'm super happy with it. It's gonna taste fantastic. It is such an entree. It's not, you know, you saw how many greens were in there and you see how much stuff is on top. This is like, this is a really, you know, hearty, almost like a, a, like a field worker's meal on a diet. If you're like burning 6,000 calories a day, but you're like trying to stay a little bit healthy and you want something, something really protein heavy, go for this. Anyways, I'm really excited about this. Um, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite. It looks so good. And like that egg is really, I don't know, that egg is really, almost like taunting me. You know, it's a nice soft boil on an egg. Oh shit, you know what I didn't add? I didn't add the sherry vinegar. That was a huge oversight. I should have done it a little more to the greens. But again, this is all gonna get mixed together. Ooh, but I'm glad I caught that. And look at this, look at this beautiful, this beautiful like weird, weird bite I have here. I have some I have some, some egg, some piquillo peppers, some of those strange eels. I've got a bocarone, I've got some tomato. What else do I want? A little onion. And that's, that's gonna be my bite. Mmm. You know what? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck. I don't even know. You know, no, no restaurant would would make this because it's such a it's such a pain in the ass to do serving for serving. But if you're making this for like a special occasion, 
for your your wife, your husband, your siblings, your parents, anyone you care about that loves food, try it out. It's um it's pretty basic. You saw the cooking was easy, and I hope you love this salad as much as as much as I do.